Back in the 1930s, uh, FDR took the word liberal, which means small government ability to choose your own path in life. It, it, they took the word liberal away, which removed the chair. Liberals now, classic liberals are libertarians. But it used to mean liberal. Libertarian was liberal. And the confusion started there. I'm going to chart a course for you in the next couple of days to show you how these words are starting to be exposed for what they really are. Liberal, then suddenly became progressive. Progressive now, the mask has come off. Everybody is a socialist. Well, that's because that's what progressive meant in the first place. Well, the same thing now is happening to the Republicans and the conservatives. Conservatives. Were you actually progressives from the beginning? Which means you're a socialist. You're just the part of the progressive party that is rah-rah USA. Is that what you were? Because that, in the end, makes you a national socialist. Nobody wants to be a national socialist. But that is exactly the way the media is going to paint the conservatives. The conservative movement is under attack. And it is under attack not just from the media. But it is under attack from national socialists themselves, called the alt-right. And the Republican Party must do more to distance itself from the alt-right. We must take up the mantle of being the hunters of the alt-right, to expose them in every sense of the word. If it doesn't, people like congressional candidate Arthur Jones of Illinois are going to create some really big headaches and create a new impression. And actually, Jones already is. He was on CNN this morning talking about Jews. And what did CNN do? Make sure that that was the Republican candidate. On Tuesday, Chicago Sun-Times headline, it read, Holocaust denier poised to claim GOP nomination in Illinois race for Congress. The only reason why he's poised to grab that nomination is because there's no one challenging him. How about this one from the Huffington Post? An actual Nazi is about to become the only GOP candidate in congressional race. What do these headlines seem to be saying? I'll tell you what they're saying. Republican bigots. They're now, the mask has come off, and they're running Nazis for Congress. That's what they're saying. It's not that the headlines aren't true. 70-year-old Arthur Jones is, in fact, a Nazi. He actually prefers to call himself a national socialist now what part of the word socialist has anything to do with tea party or constitutionalists it has everything to do with progressives he's the former head of the nazi party and he now heads the uh, group called unfortunately for the republicans america first the america first committee he has a section on his website claiming the holocaust is a lie However, the headlines are misleading because the Illinois Republican Party is not associating with Jones in any way, shape, or form. They have nothing to do with him. In fact, the GOP has issued a statement saying the Illinois Republican Party and our country have no place for Nazis like Arthur Arthur Jones. We strongly oppose his racist views and his candidacy for any public office. The headache for the Republicans is that no one has stepped up to run against Jones in the Republican primary for Illinois Thirds Congress uh, Congressional District. It doesn't matter if you win or not. You have to take a stand against him. Jones has tried and failed five times before to win the nomination, but he's about to become the Republican nominee by default. Jones doesn't have any Republican challengers because no Republican has won the House seat in this uh, Democratic-dominated district since 1975. But the media coverage heading into the midterm elections will not reflect the nuance of this particular situation. Arthur Jones is about to gift to the media nine months of Republican bashing stories about how evil GOPs nominate the Nazis. Arthur Jones is an unashamed racist. He is a Nazi. He is a self-proclaimed national socialist. He says he regrets voting for Donald Trump because Trump has, quote, surrounded himself with hordes of Jews, end quote. Anyone with an ounce of common sense can easily see that this guy is a nobody and a nut job. But in our current climate, the left-wing media will have a field day Trying, tying Jones 
uh, and his Nazi credentials to the Republicans, the Republican Party, Donald Trump, and you, no matter how you voted, if you were a conservative. Conservatives, Republicans, you better wake up and get ahead of this PR nightmare. And for goodness sake, find someone who will challenge this guy. It's going to be easy. All you have to do is say, I'm not a Nazi.